Community members continue grieving the loss of a beloved Nampa family. They died after the truck they were in was hit by a train in Canyon County over the weekend. Abby Davis spoke to friends and family, and Abby, obviously everyone is devastated by this. Right, Brian. They say that the young family was taken too soon, and it's a loss that they simply can't comprehend. I just started screaming and crying, and I said, all four of them, Clark, please don't tell me all four of them are gone. And he said, yes, they are. They're all gone. 38-year-old Benjamin Maupin his 35-year-old wife Capri and their two kids, 17-year-old Caden and 11-year-old Ryder. The Nampa family died after their truck was hit by a train near notice Saturday morning. You just kind of got that sense that it just wasn't real. And then the heartbreak sets in. Idaho State Police says Benjamin, who was driving, didn't stop at the crossing. Some people have said it was just inattention. Maybe he was talking to his wife or the kids or something. I don't know, and we'll probably never know. Just a tragic accident? Yes, yes. Caldwell officer Sylvia Bam is Benjamin's aunt. She says the family was on their way out of town to go hunting. They did everything together. The Moppins owned the Mint Barrel Barn Event Center, a popular wedding venue in Nampa, which is how event planner Aaron Olson met them. And Capri and Ben purchased it and took it over and revamped it to be the property that it is today. She was one of those people that you just knew that if she said she was going to do it, that she would. And Ben and her staff and her team would be there no matter what. She says their deaths leave a huge hole in the community. It's one of those really odd situations to lose a whole family. Normally it's just one person, but I really think that from everybody that I've talked to, the overwhelming consensus is, is that they are going to be missed beyond measure. Family celebration of life is this weekend. One of Capri's co-workers says that they'll continue events and tours at the event center. She says it's what the family would have wanted. And Brian, we should mention that ISP is investigating the crash. It's a, a tragedy. All four, whole family gone just like that. Thank you very much, Abby.